welcome back everyone. This is Jason again from ModJunkies.com. Wanted to show you today our newly revised Scorch Rapid Fire controller. It's went now from a 7 mode to now a 10 mode. We've added three great modes on here for absolutely no cost to you at all. So it's going to be the same price as all the other Scorch Rapid Fires on our website. So we'll leave a link in the description and want you to check it out. Okay, now I'll run through a little bit of the operation of the controller. First thing you notice about the controller though is the uh, custom imaging that's on here. This is actually the uh, Game Revolution controller. It is for sale on the website, so uh, go ahead and check it out. There'll be a link in the description for that as well. It's a uh, very sleek controller. Um, as you can see here, it's got the uh, gradient black ABXY buttons. Um, and then the uh, you know the white top bumper assembly, the uh, red D-pad. So yeah, check it out if you get a chance. It's a really nice controller. If you can purchase one, um, you know we'll leave a uh, exclusive coupon code in the uh, video as well. Um, so first, a scorch rapid fire here. As you can see. Um, as we said, it went from 7 modes to 10, so I'm going to show you right now, actually, uh, a new feature we added. It's the uh, quick on and off feature. Simply pressing the sync button, you'll get the mode to turn on now. Now, in order to actually change modes now, it's a little different than the uh, last course. On, you know, on our last version, which was the 7 mode, you just simply press the uh, sync button, and then it would change modes for you. Now, you hold the... Uh, left trigger down and then you press the uh, sync button and you'll see it starts to blink one two three four five we're in mode five as you can see you just hold the left trigger down and press the sync button and it'll start to blink and then you can change modes I'll show you one more time here one two three four five six seven eight now, the reason I stopped at mode eight here is this is our first new mode I wanted to talk about this is the Auto aim zombie mode with no rapid fire. And next on mode 9, we have auto aim zombie mode with rapid fire, adjustable 1 to 30 shots per second. So again, that's two auto aim modes now added on the Scorch rapid fire in addition to the seven modes we already had before. And then now we've also added on mode 10, which is now our quick scope mode with the uh, delay adjustable from 1 millisecond to 30 milliseconds. All added on here for you at no cost. So we wanted to, like I said, run through you know some of the changes here on the Scorch. And you know another one of the changes is you know adjusting the rapid fire controller. It's actually the same button presses, which is right trigger and the sync button. And then you'll see it starts to blink, and then you let go, and then you press your right trigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we had nine. So that's nine shots per second. So I'd like to adjust that up, you know, two shots per second. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the uh, right trigger and let it blink twice. One, two. So now you're going to notice, okay, as you can see, it's now 11 shots per second because we had one blink in the left-hand quadrant and then one blink in the right-hand quadrant. Left-hand quadrant is worth 10 and the right-hand quadrant is worth 1. So if it blinks once over here, it's 10. And then once over here, and then that means it's in 11 shots per second. Now, to set that, it's simply just the same as it was last time. You just press the sync button, it sets it, and then you can go. So, now, the good feature about it, like I said, is the quick on and off feature. So now you can turn the mode off, but however, when you turn the mode back, when you turn the rapid fire controller back on, it goes right back to the same mode you were in when you left off. So, again, we just wanted to share with you today some of the changes in the Scorch Rapid Fire, you know, that we wanted to bring to you. You know, a lot of customers were asking for the quick on and off feature, so, you know, we got that added in the controller. Okay, so we'll leave a link in the description. Let us know what you think about it. Um, again, this is Jason from ModJunkies.com. We appreciate you guys' continued support, and uh, thank you very much, and have a great day.